Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight I'm going to be talking about a school that has gone under fire for having Thug Day as a Spirit Week theme. Now, when I was in school, that was one of the times that I enjoyed. I loved doing Spirit Week because I like to dress up in the different themes. Halloween is one of my favorite times of the year because I get to be creative and I get to, you know, transform into something else. But when I was in high school, we had things like Pajama Day, Wear Your Favorite Team Day, just to dress to impress day maybe even 70s day but thug day is a new one and houston has been on a roll they were recently in the news for having to impose a dress code on the parents not the students the parents who come pick their kids up out of school and now one of the houston schools has had thug day for spirit week i'm gonna go to an article and read to you guys what is being said about this and then i'm going to also bring you guys up to speed on what happened when they imposed a dress code on the parents at another school and i want to know what you guys think about it okay so on this website called cron and it was on several other websites as well um this is houston chronicle and i'm sure that they probably solely you know, target what's going on in Houston. And this was written by a woman named Julian Gill. So there was a photo that resurfaced and it kind of went viral and it said Memorial High School's Thug Day for Rising Senior Spirit Week. Yes, this actually happened today at an actual high school. But y'all keep saying racism isn't a problem anymore, right? All right. So I'm going to read the article now. And in the article, it says many people in Houston land on both sides of the fence after Memorial High School students this week surfaced in a viral photos wearing basketball jerseys with questionable accessories for Spirit Week. The school allows students to wear jerseys for one of their approved theme day on Tuesday. But some students made inappropriate and unapproved additions. The district said in a prepared statement, the collection of photos shared on social media, which has received 17,000 retweets and 48,000 likes, shows the students wearing do-rags, fake tattoos, and gold chains as a part of their attire. The school canceled the remaining theme days for Spirit Week. Some people said they didn't find the attire offensive at all and equated it to kids just having fun. Many former students on social media fell into that category. Here's what some of the students had to say. One said, look, I think it was an overreaction by people, said Todd Forbes, who graduated from Memorial High School in the early 1980s. I think it might have been inappropriate, but the school overreacted, too. And if that's racist, then I must be missing something. Hmm. Really? Anyways, other former students of the school found the attire more offensive. Robert Boyd, a Memorial High School graduate, commented on a private Facebook group. If you can't see how Thug Day is obviously racist, you might be from Memorial High School. Class of 81 here. James Douglas, president of the Houston chapter of NAACP, also condemned the students' attire. He said, they need to do more than make a statement, Douglas says. They need to have some training programs for these students to make them understand what it is like to live in a racial society and why what they did was harmful harmful to other people. If the adults are not going to be responsible for teaching them, we are going to continue to have these kinds of problems at it, Douglas. Mike Jackson, a UFC fighter and self-described media personality in Houston who is black, believes the students were mocking a segment of black culture based on the viral photos. He felt the students were simply making a joke by adding cornrows, large chains, fake tattoos, and baggy clothes. They associate black culture as a whole with thug culture, said Jackson, referring to the Thug Day moniker. They have this negative idea in their head associating thugs with jerseys just to add to a costume they were trying to make. Another Houston resident, Rob Gulat, Gulat, I don't know how to say his name, who is also black, said he wasn't personally offended by the photos, but he understands why people say they are insensitive. I would be more offended by the school allowing something like this to go on, says Galat, who lives in Mirland area. The reality of it is, you know where these images are coming from. They're not coming from the perception of white thugs. 
So um, it says Cron.com sent several requests for comments from the Parent Teacher Association at Memorial High School, but did not receive a response. I want to know what you guys think about Thug Day and what do you guys think of the reactions of some of the people who reacted to it? I think that it's inappropriate for sure for them to be dressing up as thugs or even having this theme, period. Like, why are you encouraging such behavior in the first day? Like, why is that even a theme? Thug day like that's crazy to me um also at another houston school another houston school had went and made the waves by making a dress code for the parents but this happened from a houston school where the principal was a black woman i'm gonna read to you guys that and bring you guys up to speed on that and you guys let me know what you feel about it because clearly it looks like houston is known for creating these cultural wars and you know from thug day to this whole parent thing I'm I'm, I, I'm just at a loss for word as to what is really going on in Houston anyways I'm gonna go on over to USA Today to read you guys the article and bring you guys up to speed on that those of you who were not on my other channel when we discussed this in um, one of my Saturday Night Lives anyway so it says a Houston high school announced earlier this month that parents would need to conform to a dress code to be permitted to enter the school a policy that has drawn media attention and scrutiny the April 9th letter announcing the policy is linked to James Madison High School's homepage it lists an array of clothing that parents are not permitted to wear inside the school or at school events including a satin cap or bonnet on their head hair rollers pajamas of any kind leggings that are showing your bottom and where your body is not covered from the front or the back sagging pants men wearing undershirts daisy dudes and i'm sure there was a list of other things the school which has a dress code for its students as well according to houston's independent school district enacted the parental dress code to help create a professional educational environment carlita outley brown the school's principal wrote in the letter we have to have standards. Most of all, we must have high standards. We are preparing your child for a prosperous future, the letter says. One day before the letter was dated, local TV station KPRC reported that Madison High School turned away a mother who said she wore a headscarf and a t-shirt dress featuring Marilyn Monroe. Jocelyn Lewis told the station that officials said she was in violation of the school's dress code. Lewis was at the school to register her daughter, the station says. Critics of the policy have called it discriminatory. The Houston Chronicles reports Zeph Capo, president of the Houston Federation of Teachers, specifically criticized the policy on women's hair, calling it classist, belittling, and dismissive, the newspaper says. I'm sorry, this principal may have plenty of money and time to go to the hairdresser weekly and have her stuff done, Capo told the newspaper. Having a wrap on your head is not offensive. It should not be controversial. Ashton P. Woods, who is a candidate for Houston City's Council and the founder of Black Lives Matter Houston, according to his Twitter bio, sharply criticized the policy in a tweet calling it elitism. Most of the parents likely cannot afford to comply with the dress code, Woods tweet reads. And, you know, I want to know what you guys think about it. Also, in addition, on this website, it says the policy has found supporters on social media with some users citing the student dress code as a reason there should be a policy for parents as well. I want to know what you guys think about the thug day that the school had. And I want to know what you think about these parents having an imposed dress code just to pick up their students or or just to be on campus I understand certain things that some parents wear might not be appropriate or whatever but I don't know I don't really feel this whole dress code thing because I feel like at the end of the day most of the times when parents are coming to the school in a quick fashion in a hurry because sometimes your kid will fall ill and you're in the middle of something and you want to hop and rush to the school and everybody is not trying to put themselves together real quick just to go and do a quick drop off or pick up or you know going inside to sign the paper real quick so i don't know you guys let me know what you think and what is going on with houston now let's talk about this thug day let's talk about this dress code let's talk about it down in the comment section below i want to know what you guys think all right guys that's all for this video stay tuned for more celebrity news and gossip but in order to do that be sure to hit that like and subscribe button right now don't wait do it right now and um you know that's all <laughs> all right guys peace